Today on Filmmaking for Noobs, we're gonna look at where to get great music for your films. So a lot of people always have the question of where do I find great music for my videos? Today I'd like to share with you a few of my favorite websites that I go to to where I find music that I use in most of my YouTube videos. When I produce higher budget films, feature films, short films, whatever the case may be, I usually hire someone to compose music specifically for that film, and I would encourage anyone to do so if you have the budget. But for all the YouTube videos that I make, I don't really have the time or budget to do that, and I'm guessing most people don't really want to do that for most of the videos they make either. So where do you find great music to use in your videos that is first of all legal, and secondly, either free or doesn't cost very much? The first website that I started using years ago to find stock music is a website called stockmusic.net. Stockmusic.net has lots and lots of options to choose from, although I will say that it's a little bit difficult sometimes to find a really good track that really fits your, your film or your video. There are definitely some good ones, it just requires some time to search through and find one that's gonna work for you. You pay once and you get to use that song for any video that you produce, like forever, kind of. I don't know, you should read their terms. Tracks from stockmusic.net will cost you around $40 each. So I think that's a pretty good deal if you just need one or two or a few pieces of music here and there. However, if you need lots of music, like every day or every week, then it can really add up by paying per track and that probably might not be feasible for some people. More recently, I then came across another website called Premium Beat, which similar to stockmusic.net, they do charge you for each track. It is a little bit pricier, $50 per track. However, the really cool thing that I like about Premium Beat is that they give you not just your main track that you purchase, but they also give you a few different versions, like different lengths of that track, as well as some loops that go with that track. And it makes it very easy for you to have more flexibility to increase or decrease the length of your track and make it match your, your film or whatever it is that you're putting it into. I do find that Premium Beat offers lots of really great quality tracks. And so it's a little bit easier to find something good, more upbeat that may fit your project really well. The drawback with Premium Beat is just like stockmusic.net, they do charge per track. And so if you just need a few tracks here and there for different things, it could be pretty good for you. If you need lots of tracks, three or four tracks a week, then that can get really pricey really fast. I then came across a website called Audioblocks, and there's a number of reasons why I really like Audioblocks. First reason is because it is a subscription-based service, meaning that instead of paying per track, you just pay a subscription fee of like 100 bucks a year, and it gives you access to their entire library. The other thing I really like about Audioblocks is that not only do they have lots of stock music, but they also have lots of sound effects. So you get access to an entire music and sound effects library for one annual subscription fee. Now, if you only need one track a year, this may not be worth it, but if you're like me, using lots of tracks for lots of videos on wherever you put them, it could be a very cost-effective solution to help you find lots of music. Now, I will say, though, that it is hard to find really good pieces of music on Audioblocks. There definitely are some, and they are there, but it takes a little bit of time to search through them and find something that's gonna work for your project. A lot of the music, not all, but a lot of the music on Audioblocks is a little bit cheesy and definitely sounds like stock music. And your goal should be to find music that sounds like it's meant for your video, not necessarily stock music. So it does take a little bit of searching to find something good on audio blocks, but they are there and I think it is definitely worth the money. One cool thing about audio blocks is that you can continue to use any music that you've downloaded from their library even after your subscription has ended. A few months after getting my subscription to audio blocks, someone told me about another really, really, really great website for music, which is definitely my favorite right now, called Epidemic Sound. There are a lot of things that I like about Epidemic Sound. First of all, almost all of their music sounds really good. It is high quality music. Some of it sounds like it should be on the radio. It doesn't just sound like your typical stock music. It's a really good place to find really good sounding music. The other thing I like about Epidemic Sound is that it is also subscription based, meaning that 
I think it's around 15 or $20 per month that I'm paying for this service in order to have access to their entire library of music. It's a little bit pricier than the subscription for audio blocks, and so if you're not using a lot of music, it may not be worth it for you. Another really great thing about Epidemic Sound is that they give you not just the complete track, but then they split it into three or four stems. And they give you separate stems for the drums, the bass, the instruments and the melody that belong to that track. It gives you a lot more flexibility to basically remix the song yourself and to help you to kind of extend it a bit if you need to to fill some extra time. I also really like Epidemic Sound because a lot of their music includes vocals. It's usually really hard to find stock music that has vocals, but the great thing about Epidemic Sound is since it does give you the different stems, it's also very easy to remove the vocal track if you wanted instruments only. Now one thing to keep in mind about Epidemic Sound is that the subscription-based service that I'm using, that I'm talking about, is meant for YouTube videos. The way that it works is you get unlimited access to their entire library to use on your YouTube channel. You do have to register your YouTube channel with them. The music that you download and use in your videos, even once your subscription ends, as long as your video is already released online on YouTube, you can continue using that music. The drawback is that even if you've already downloaded music from their library, you cannot use it in any videos that are released after your subscription ends. If you want to use Epidemic Sound's music in other videos for other mediums, such as you know anywhere else outside of YouTube, uh, you do have to pay a different license fee. But they do also offer single track licensing just like the other companies. Um, it's a little bit pricier, but I think it's definitely worth the extra cost because the music sounds that much better. Now, of course, these four options that I've talked about so far, which are some of my favorite options, they do cost money, but at least you're able to legally license and use music in your videos, and most of this music sounds really good. Of course, there's always the option of asking someone that you know who makes their own music to either make something for you or to give you permission to use their existing tracks. That's totally cool too and can usually be free. If you do get free permission from someone to use their music, I would highly recommend having it in writing. If you have been granted free permission to use music in a video that you plan on making money off of, I highly, highly, highly recommend getting that in writing to make sure that the artist doesn't come back asking for money later. And of course, you also have free access to the YouTube audio library, which you should check out. There's lots of great music and tracks on that library that you can download and use for free in any videos that you release on YouTube. Some of them have certain conditions when it comes to attribution and credits. Some of them may not require any credit, uh, but you should definitely check that out. And of course, with all of these sites and services that I have just recommended to you, first of all, I am not getting any sort of commission or benefits from any of these services. I'm simply sharing this as what I have found to be helpful to me. And secondly, before you download any music or use it in any videos, you should always make sure that you read through their license agreements and their terms and conditions to make sure that you know what is expected and what the rules are. Please don't take my word for it because things may have changed or I may have been wrong and I'm not here to give you legal advice, just trying to help you find great music for your videos. Another great website which offers some amazing music that I only came across while editing this episode is called artless.io. It was too good to not include in this video because of their music quality and some of their more favorable terms. Their music is also high quality comparable to Epidemic Sound and they are also a subscription based service. They are a little bit pricier than audio blocks, but unlike Epidemic Sound, you're not restricted to YouTube use only. You can use their music anywhere. With an Artlist.io subscription, you do have unlimited access to their entire library, and once you download a song, you can continue to use that song in any video you produce on any medium, even after your subscription has ended. One drawback is that they do not offer the loops or shorter versions like Premium Beat, and they also don't offer various stems like Epidemic Sound. Disclaimer, Artlist.io is the only music service mentioned in this video which I do receive a small commission from. However, if you use the link in the description of this video, you will also receive a bonus two months free. I hope that you find some great music to use for your videos, and if you know of any other sites or services that legally offer you music that you can use in your videos, feel free to comment below and let all of us know. That'd be cool. And by the way, if you like any of the tracks that I've used in this video, you can check out the description of this video for links and names of those tracks. This has been Filmmaker for Noobs. I'm Kyle Lawrence. Thanks for watching. New episodes every other Saturday. Have a great day.